everyone, welcome to Alka Bloom Boutique channel. My name is Zoa, and today I am going to just show you guys how to embroider this dragon design with this vinyl that you can get from Hobby Lobby. So they're pretty easy to embroider. Um, since they're pretty thick and sturdy, you don't need heat and bond for these. I don't use heat and bond for these. So I'm using that and just HTV vinyl. So today we're going to do this dragon design that you guys can see on the screen here. So this is for Anna. She's um, bought this design for her son. So I decided to uh, do this tutorial and show you guys how you guys can use um, canvas I think it has like a soft backing and it's just almost like the one like Angela has so this is from Angela it just have like a canvas backing this one has like a soft kind of like fill not really like fill but it's soft than this this is more like a canvas back but they work almost the same and I have done this design before, used the same fabric. I didn't have any, um, there wasn't any big hole or tear in the canvas or the vinyl. Okay, so now I'm just bringing this design up here so I can measure the piece I need to cut for the dragon face. So I already did the the two ear and then now I'm doing the face so I'll need like a four by five piece so I will show you guys a closer shot when I embroider this. So I just put the canvas on top. As you can see, it's warping because it's roll. So it has that um, raise. So what you guys can do is uh, spray it with the file file spray to put to make sure it laid down or you guys just hold it in this case I would just hold it so let me put this down So now you use a sharp uh, applique scissor. This one has a dip like that, so you can go in like this. Show you guys. So these canvas are or fox leather, a little bit hard to cut. And this one is actually a little bit smoother than like the um, glitter, the thick chunky glitter. Since this is going to be a satin finish, um, cut as close as possible. And make sure you don't cut through the shirt. So 
so they're really easy to work with too. So always make sure you have a lint roller because all these loose, fuzzy come off of the fabric and threads. That's it, we're gonna pop it back in. So I forgot to mention that this one has a pattern. So make sure you choose, um, if you make it go this way, then you have to put it this way. But I chose the scale going down. So earlier I cut it the wrong way. So you have to pay attention to the fabric if it's directional. So since it's going down, I'm going to make it go down like this too. So the next part, I'm going to use HTV. So this one's a quite easy um, applique design, it's just the horns, the face, and the two ear. So some character or design has so many little applique pieces, like that farm. Probably one day do this, the farm design as a video so you guys can see how many steps there are. But this dragon's an uh, easy one. The more applique step, it takes longer to um, embroider because you have to wait and put each applique down and cut them before you can walk away. And either is there a way to cut down time? Like, since this one I'm just doing on video, I didn't prepare the fabric first. So I have to measure how big of a piece I need to cut. For the feet, it's about two inch by one and a half. So you can print out the design 
and just measure out how much you need. Since I didn't do that, um, I have to measure and then cut and do my applique at the same time. So with HTV, since it's already have a like a transfer, like an iron-on transfer in the back, so there's no need for heat and bond. And to use these HTV. You must remember to take off the clear plastic because it needs to border on it so you can rip it off and you don't need the clear because you're not transferring like how you do um, on the Cricut. This neon orange is so bright. Okay. So this will be tricky. If you cannot hold it down, use the file five to put it on. So you don't have to hold it because sometimes you might not know where the needle is, but I don't use my finger. I'm going to use this. So I'm gonna be really careful to see where. Okay, it's start stitching over here. So I'm just gonna hold it like this. So you must be super careful, do not get your hand caught on the needle. So with HTV, you do not need to use a scissor because you can just tear them right off like this. Sometimes it's a little bit hard, so just have your sister handy on hand in case you can't get to. So sometimes you have to be careful because you, you might rip it off. So I would suggest you use a scissor just in case. You might rip it off from the applicant inside, you know, and you don't want that to happen. So it's already looking really pretty already.
So know that we probably are really expert on like embroidery, but I just want to share how I how I do mine and how to work with um, canvas or fox leather. With this, you must put something over when you iron this. But for the customer, if they need to iron their shirt, they must do it from the back. But always put a protective cover because this will melt or burn. So, must put on like like a low heat setting and iron from the back for the customer. So now I'm going to go and adhere this with my little iron so they don't bubble when it do the satin stitch. <laughs> 